What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. We're going to continue along with more Steel Rising. I'm back and uh, check that last episode. I think the audio levels are good. Um, you no, know, it's because I'm recording this all pre release. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, so hopefully, y'all agree that the levels are good. The cooling button. Did not mean to do that. Wait now. I think it was a Y to cool, but push along. I'd be really curious to see what people think. Because like I mean being clockwork, the animations do have um, is this open? Like this. The animations almost look. Uh, they look, look mechanical, you know. For a reason. They look mechanical. But I think a lot of people are going to see that. I'm curious to see what, what feedback will be. If people are like, oh, it looks weird. Like, well, yeah, it's supposed to look like that. The clockwork. I will say, I'm gonna, geez, this feels really. Um, I feel like my camera sensitivity is higher than it was the first time I played. I know it sounds weird, but like it definitely feels like my camera was like zipping really fast. I'm gonna sign up for module slot. Open the module menu. Oh God. Slightly reduces the internal damage caused by rapid cooling or increases health. That's one vigor level left of health. I want to see how much it reduces the cooling damage. It doesn't look like I, it still doesn't build up enough to where it's damaging me, so. to draw an enemy out. The Swiss Guard, killed by the automats that replaced them. No one confirms that no command was given to replace your company with a detachment of automats, therefore urge you to keep your distance from those machines in no form of any signs. Do not engage unless her match to the Queen is in danger. Reinforcements are en route. So we got our first boss fight. Oh, bro, where was my... I don't like the, uh, the, like, stuff on him, the blue. It's kind of, it's hard to tell when he's going to do certain animations. Oh, shit. That's not good.
Ooh, only 78? Oh, God. He's not going to attack, I guess. There we go. Perfecting can be activated. Module key. Module key. Several slots for modules. Augment her stats. Alter behavior. Recently powerful. So as I beat stuff, I'm getting keys. module slots okay so that's interesting so I got a debate between you know spending three keys to upgrade the tier or probably it makes sense to unlock them all first but um I want more I need more oomph I think so both of these are going to increase my attack um is there scaling on this there is. Agility Affinity C. So, I want to increase this. Fans. And in the modules, I can put both of these in now. Let me see how I'll see how much I get for popping these. 50, 250, 50, 250. I need to kill like one more thing and then I'll have enough to There we go. I'm to start pushing stamina up, stamina, health, and dex. That's what I'm going to be focusing, I think. Well, agility, but... Gonna do a dex build. Gotta do it right. I like that that increases my critical hit multiplier as well. It's weird. It's like, I feel like you want to... You want to continue attacking until you force yourself into... Like, it's, it's hard, because if I'm fighting like this, you know... And it's there, and then I'm trying to dodge. And then I'm trying to go, like, I need to force myself to overheat so then I can get it back. That's that's what the trick, I need to get into the flow. And my guess is it's probably gonna take me a couple episodes to do that. But that's, that's, that's what you gotta do. You need to adjust the flow. You know, it's the same as like getting down your, your uh, key pulses in Neo. I need to get down to where when I perform actions I'm immediately doing that. Husk it. Mm. Shalaville, 1789, shield musket, frost damage, and shield. Uh, what does it scale with? Do you have the same scaling as me? You have alchemy scaling. Womp womp. Ooh, what is this? Acquired a hand cannon. Just like her enemy's weapons, Aegis' own weapons can cause alchemical damage, flame frost, and fulmination. She uses alchemical capsules for each such attack. Alchemical damage fills a gauge, which when full triggers an affliction. Flame ignites the target, continuous damage, and Aegis can extinguish the fire faster by spamming dodge. Frost inflicts freezing. Aegis can thaw faster by attacking, so mash the attack buttons. Fulmination electrocutes its target with each hit taken, causing additional damage. I need elixirs to stop that. So damage over time, slowing, or bonus damage on hit. So 
Looks like I have limited ammo. Oh no. No, I do. What is going on here? See down there's a there's a counter down at the bottom that's slowly going down. Uh I didn't see that anywhere though. The bottom left of the screen it says 41. What happens when that gets empty? Just go up at forty right now. Is it the... I think it's the alchemic capsules. So, where do I see those? Alchemic capsules. I don't see those anywhere. Hmm. I, mean, I guess I just get it as I fight. Endurance goes up by two. Lots of armor. Increased endurance. Less balance. Less flame resist. I'll take it just because it matches better. More endurance and formation resistance. Armor, I'll take that. Yeah, so I think I have, I have 34. Yeah, I just want to kill stuff. I'm building up that alchemic stuff. Why is that only did 116? I figured it would hit harder. I'm gonna getting two alchemical capsules per kill. So I'm gonna hang on to that and not be uh, as aggressive with it because I feel like freezing up a boss with that could be super useful. some poise. Sixty-six. This is eighty-three. So it, it it doubles the attack. I don't know if that's worth it. I mean double the damage, but that's I could go boom, boom, versus one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. I mean, I can. Pre yeah, I don't know. I don't know if charged heavies are gonna be worth it. Unless, do they do? I don't remember the tip saying anything special, like you know. We one thing if like the charged heavies they uh. You know, they pull more juice out of something. Nemesis claws. Compass. Head to the quick access pellet use your eight high receiver destination. Hmm. It's full. Um Sounded like I picked up another weapon. Nemesis Claws. Agility affinity. I like it. Special move counterattack. That sounds like a parry. Cool. 
So these scale better with agility. But right now they have... Uh, have less, less stats all around. I'll need to just play with them for a bit and get a feel for them. I will say, just because I know people are going to be asking, um, from what I have seen so far, I'm not sure if this is going to need a walkthrough. You know, everyone always wants to ask, like, oh, you're doing a walkthrough of the game, blah, 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 but you know, unless, unless I find a game exceedingly difficult or... Like this, this seems, so far, at least, this seems linear enough that I don't think a walkthrough is justified. The riverbank is just beyond this wood. That's one of the things with the Souls games is there's so much like stuff hidden, like just nooks and crannies all over. And so far, I don't, I don't feel like I've seen. Like I mean, we've had one area where it was like I can go left or I can go right. Oh look, I can go right first and get some treasure. Now I go left. But it was very straightforward given we're at the start of the game. But I'm just, you know, putting that out there. From what I've seen, I don't think we're gonna need a. Uh, That's a parry. That's a parry for sure. Okay. Oh, come, man. Oh, shit. that heavy attack? I want to see it. Pretty long to get that off. I know we just got here, but I was messing around with the new weapon. I'll just re-rest, get my stuff back. It's kind of weird, like, I mean, it makes sense that they respawn from resting, but there's no, like, you know, I'm so used to, like, the, the refresh, like, doom, you know, that sound in Souls games where, where you can tell that the world state has just changed itself. I'm liking this thing a lot. It's fast. But I think the fan will make a good backup. I can mainly play with this, and if there's something I can't parry, I'll swap to the fan. Oh, shit! Mm, mm, no! Oh! Fucking... The stamina. That's definitely going to take a lot of getting used to. Trying to get a parry off. That's the other thing. It's with the, the clockwork nature of enemies, how they have this like stutter as they're attacking. It's going to make getting parry super hard in this game, I think. Maybe bosses will be easy to read, but like, oof, I'm not going to hold my breath.
Oh, that's dope, though. That, that comes out fast and does some big knockback. I like it. Ooh, another module key. Module key. I found it for me. Oh, uh, that looks like it just hang on. Oh. Easy clap. Let's go. Down you go, snake lady. Look, it reminds me of uh, the the serpent nagas from like World of Warcraft, but just mechanical. just looped me all the way around to the start. Oh, that's cool. So it just it literally like poops out a flag for you. Like, hey, go this way. I've been there. I've been there. Exactly where to go. This kind of goes into what I was talking about is, you know, like and and types of souls games i usually do walkthroughs for there's no button you're gonna press that just puts puts a big icon on the map for you <laughs> telling you the direction that you need to travel which i mean there's nothing wrong with that you know everyone's free to design their own game the way they want oh like that listen i would but i don't have the no Ooh, that's close. Um, the point is, I don't know if it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna need a walkthrough. Like, oh, we'll see what happens. Belchin saber, dual wield. Let's go. Sounds good. In this, they are sea agility, blade tornado. <laughs> So pretty good. Put on the fountain to save It looks like going for Dex was the uh, right choice here. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh god. Oh yeah. That's fun. Like Blades of Mercy at the start of the game. Oh man. All right. Well, I think we just found our weapon for this playthrough. It's uh. I could, I could go back and then run all the way back down here, but I feel like I'm gonna have a uh, I feel like one of those one of those rest spots is probably coming up. Take a boat to Paris. Uh, no, I don't know, man. I, I'm getting major, like, a boss fight's about to happen vibes. Let me go level up first. I mean, it's easy to reach it, right? It's just up here. It looks like I'm supposed to sit in it and go into the well. Also, all these areas that are blocked. I wonder if it's, like, some secret path I need to find to get over to there? I think so. If that was the case, we definitely need to start making a walkthrough. Let me focus bigger until I think two more. I want to get my critical hit multiplier to 1.5, so an extra 50% increase in damage. Honestly, I might just focus that for quite a few levels. Getting more stamina doesn't seem like a bad thing. Alright, 
Oh, it's been fun, boys. I should as a boss and I already wasted one heal. Sentinel. Way too early. I feel like they could clean up the death animation a little more. Like, it's like you die, it's just like, Aegis has died. And then it's just like black screens and loads. swing. Very much parry at the last second. And I'm doing it way too early. jumps. I don't know how it'll work on the bigger bosses, but for guys like this, parrying is very nice. Definitely, definitely liking how that felt. And to Paris we go. Hope you already listened to me speak broken French for a bunch of episodes. Oh, 
Alright, well, either way, since we have reached a whole new area, seems like a natural spot for us to take a break. Y'all stay tuned. I'll have more of this coming your way, obviously, pretty soon. And I'll catch you all then.